Hello and welcome everybody. Today this session is for showing how to do SPDD in your upgrade project. So SPDD and SPAW are the two transactions that need to be performed compulsorily during an upgrade wherein SPDD is performed as part of the pre-upgrade activity. So this is something that we need to perform in the shadow system before the upgrade uh, is completed and SPAW is, needs to be completed after the upgrade is completed. So let's see how SPDD is done. Go to transaction SPDD and there you will see uh, three radio buttons. Click on the first standard one and execute. In it, you will see three different tabs or four different tabs rather. The one is notes with assistant, without assistant and the last one is the deletions. So deletions we don't really have to worry about. The ones that we need to take care of are the notes, the with assistant and without assistant tab. So in here, in the notes, you can see that some of the notes are in different implementation status. Some can be all three, uh, you know, the icons can be black and then the status can be obsolete notes. Some can be partially implemented notes. So what we need to do is just, you know, uh, click on each of the note and then see what the status is on the right hand side where you can see the actions that we can take on these notes. Now I'm just, the one that I have selected, I'm just opening it in another S-Note transaction to verify if uh, the note uh, contains, you know, some changes. But you can see on the right hand side here that the note that I've highlighted, the action was confirm obsolete SAP note. So if you select that note and you click on execute, the system will automatically take care of the note. You don't really have to go to another transaction to check what the note is it's just something that I have was doing so this way you have to select each note and then from the list of available actions just click on uh, select it and then just double click like so and hit execute so you can either choose all of the notes at once and then or from the available actions you can execute which will create a background job which we can see in SM37. So this background job will take care of uh, implementing all these nodes. You will not have to do it manually the way I am doing right now uh, which is one by one. But the reason I do not prefer uh, selecting all and then uh, clicking on the available actions to create a background job is because uh, sometimes you know there are a lot of nodes and it just takes up a lot of uh, memory when it is being run. And what happens is then when you come back to SPDD and to click on with assistant or without assistant, it just the whole system just slows down a lot. So I prefer to do it one by one, but it's your choice. You know, you can try both of them and see which is favorable to you. But this is what we are doing here now. And uh, the first thing that you really should do is just take care of the notes because a, a lot of times uh, when you implement or de-implement or you know perform the available actions on the note some of the items from with assistant and without assistant can reduce so that's quite helpful once you are finished with the notes move to the next tab with assistant now the difference between with assistant and without assistant is that in with assistant when you click on uh, the compare versions you will see a split screen editor kind of a screen where you can see the current version and the previous version and in that if you can uh, see on the screen right now you can click on the single double column and uh, uh, delta display so just select your item and then select single double column you can see the changes for example on the left hand side is the new one and on the right hand side is the old one the field level length has changed from 15 to 20 and uh, so this just shows us that there is really no customer change that was made in this so we can go ahead and press reset so let me tell you the difference between reset and adjust so reset is something that we use when we need to keep the changes that have come in from the latest version or the latest upgrade that is going to take place or you know the current that is taking place so adjust is something that we do when we have to adapt the modifications that the customer had done prior to the upgrade you know sometimes we had make z fields added to a table or uh, z modifications or append structures 
that come in through customers so those need to be adapted in the standard after the upgrade so whenever the upgrade comes in these z fields will not be present in the new ddic structure so those need to be adapted and in that case when they need to be adapted we should go for the button adjust but in cases where we do not have any z structures or any changes made by the customers or by us then in that case it's better to go for the reset option which means you are just accepting the newest version that is coming in for example here you can see that the field label length was changed from 15 to 20 so this is not something that we have done and therefore we can hit on a uh, reset that will accept the new field label length now in this next example if you see when you're doing a compare version you can see that the description was changed right you can see that the letter uh, p was made capital uh, and then it was made small so that is the only change here again this is not a customer change so we can go ahead and do a reset now coming to the without assistance assistant tab so the main difference between with assistant and without assistant i have already told you so in without assistant you generally do not have a split screen editor the one that we are seeing uh, in few cases it will be present but in most of the cases it is not present so because you do not have a sp split screen editor you cannot do a version comparison on left and right like you can see right now here in this case there is an option for version comparison but otherwise it's just a reset and an adjust so in this case what you will do is uh, unfortunately i do not have the example of showing you that in this video but i'm just going to walk you through what to do when in without assistant you do not have an option of uh, doing a version comparison so you just double click on the object whichever you are uh, working on and then it will take you to the object there inside you can do a version comparison the one that you normally do and uh, if you see that there is a customer change that is present for example in this case there is a customer append that was added prior to the upgrade so in this case we should be adjusting our uh, ddic so we should be going for an adjust and not for a reset so similarly when you are doing a compare version comparison and you see that a customer uh, change is present prior to the upgrade so you come back to the screen and then you select your item and click on adjust now in adjust there are sometimes uh, two options adjust with proposal or adjust manually the one you can see what i'm trying to see is the adjust with proposal but um, adjust with proposal is since we do not have an example here you'll just have to go through the steps that they are present there in adjust with proposal it just it gives you a pop-up explaining the steps what uh, the system is going through and if you do an adjust manually like here you can see the information messages so here when you do uh, adjust with proposal you have an option of accept the proposal or edit the proposal or compare manually so if you're comparing manually you will see the z structure is been added before the upgrade and this has to be adjusted so you will go and do either an accept proposal depending on what the system is uh, proposing the system will definitely propose to you to add the append structure inside the new ddic if you do not want to do that and you want to do it manually you can go ahead with the adjust manually option so in adjust manually you will um, do a retrieve version using the previous version and then once the previous version has been retrieved and activated you can confirm this action as processing completed that's the only difference between adjust with proposal and adjust manually personally from all the upgrades that i have done i have chosen to go with adjust manually because that's just easier to retrieve a version uh if we in the next session whenever we do spow you will see the difference between the two all right hopefully this was a little informative if you have any comments uh please put it in the comments and if i get to do spdd again i will capture the without assistant tabs more in depth Thank you guys. See you next time.